So, which means of transport that we select, it depends upon the distance, how much you need to travel. So, you are at the point, that is, I say that you are in Kerala. So, you wanted to go to Delhi. So, you are asked to go to Delhi. Do you take out your bicycle to go to Delhi or your bike to go to Delhi? You will book a train ticket which can take you to Delhi. So, you can go for a train. If not, if you wanted to go a bit faster, then you will book a flight. Okay. So, depending upon the distance, how much distance that you have to travel, you will decide what sort of, what modes of transport that you can choose or pick up. But how do you know the distance? Somebody is telling you, just you, you will Google it. You will take your smartphone or computer, go to Google, www.google.com. Then you will type what is the distance between Kerala and Delhi. Then you will come to know how many kilometers it is. That's it. Thereby, very closely you will find so many ads related to that where you can click and book your ticket and go. So you need not measure the distance between two cities or two places in a known countries or a continent because it was all done by the people. It's all updated in internet. You can see that. What is the distance? But here you can notice one thing that it will show the distance from Kerala to Delhi. So what is the distance between Kerala to Delhi? It is 2671 kilometer. So I googled it. If you google it, you will come to know that this distance. So what is given? Here two things are given here. One is number and the other one is km that is unit. So when you are talking about a distance, then you will find two things. One is the number, the other one is the unit. Right. So 2671 kilometers is the distance. You need not measure it. But here, if there is a situation, if you are asked to measure, how do you do that? How do you measure it? So what do you need? Let us see the situation. So here is your desk in your classroom. So in the desk, here you are sitting here. You are sitting and beside you, there is one more person sitting you beside. Beside you, there is one more boy sitting here. The teacher asked you to sit in your place exactly. Do not get into the other, other's place. So the desk is shared among two people. So this is shared among A and B. The teacher told, do not come into the place of A to B. So, they need to sit in their own place. That means they have to share the bench. That means they have to define their territories, means their border, which they should not cross. This person should not cross into his area. This person should not go into his area. So, how can they do that? Teacher asked them to draw a line at the center. Here, just I am estimating the distance, I am putting a line here, but it is not exactly the center. It is rough estimation, just I am estimating. So, if any one of this A or B, if they have drawn a line with estimation, they will go for a conflict. They say that it is not accurate. You are taking more area. I am taking more, less area. I am, I am given less area. Likewise, they will fight together. So, it should be a standard division. It should be a very accurate division of the space. Then only both of them will accept it. Otherwise, they don't accept. If this person is telling this is the center, he will not accept. If this boy is telling this is the center, he will not accept because it should have some scientific proof that both are equal. It is at the center. So now the teacher asked to solve their problem. They wanted to measure the distance and solve it. So what do they have to measure with? Measurement means comparison of a quantity with a known quantity. Right? 
comparison just they are comparing the length of the desk with the things that they have so what they have these people they have gilli danda with them you know the gilli danda that is used to play so gilli danda they used the gilli danda like this gilli and danda to measure so when they started measuring totally it has come like four gillies and two dandas right so one danda and two gilli will do for the length but sometimes so this gilli danda they use it to measure okay one gilli one danda one gilli that is one half one gilli one danda and one gilli that is another half in that way it is equal but here the question comes like mr b says that that gilli danda was bought by a so i don't accept that i have my own gilli danda with which i will measure that is a different case because all gilli danda need not be in same size so again there is a confusion so they wanted to measure with the cricket bat it is not possible here they have measured one bat two bat they cannot exactly divide that with the help of cricket bat so cricket bat is not a suitable device to measure gilli danda is not a suitable device to measure because the, always it is not justified if they are measuring with such things some of the area of the desk may be left or sometimes the measuring device will be much more longer than the bench so that is the case so here without any measuring tool they can solve this with an idea let's see they have taken one string one thread and measured till the end of the bench they have cut it here so this length they have taken here to here now they folded this like this back they folded the thread so at this center point they marked it it is 1 by 2 and again they folded it here they marked 1 by 4 so with this they can act accurately measure the distance but even with strings it is not possible always if it is a very long distance you cannot take a very such a long string to measure so there is a need there is a necessity to have some special devices for measurements there is a need to measure the distances there is a need to represent the distance in special units then only we can understand and it should be accepted by everybody otherwise there is a conflict if i say one thing yes this is the standard somebody says something that is the standard there will be a conflict i don't accept his words he don't accept my words so again it is a confusion so for the measurement of distances there we need a standard unit of measurement if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus